Um, one of my kickboxers in South Africa once fought a boxer. Um, a boxer was doing kickboxing. He's never done it, but he was doing his boxing and maga, and they were equal in in ex experience. And my kickboxer kicked him in the head, whoop, and down he went. And he was out, and they were shocked. Only reason because he had never seen that yeah. that that technique. Yeah. You know. So um, I definitely believe in. Every technique, yeah. you know, do as many techniques as you can. Yeah, when I first was changing from Western boxing to Khmer boxing, Muay Thai, uh, I just didn't even see the kicks coming up. You're no. not looking for them. 100% because you don't see them, you know. Your eyes adapted to see the hands. Yeah. You know, although the kick comes from the ground, it's not adapted. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. And, and also your guard, the guard, <coughs> my, my guard was too tight. I had a really tight Western yeah. guard and then uh, I couldn't see from the sides and underneath mm. and, mm. yeah. Um, yeah, you know, it, it's like every there's so many codes of fighting. Yeah. Yeah, you know, that's why MMA have come in because they say they're putting all these codes together and um, to become one ultimate type of fighter. But it's still difficult, if, you know, to become, you know, an expert in the in a MMA as a boxer or the expert as a as a jiu-jitsu guy or as a wrestler because you know it takes years and years of training just to become a world champion in a boxer yeah 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 and he's yeah. only using his hands yeah yeah so you know you put in all these different you know so me personally you know you're losing something on, on everything yeah 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 yeah, yeah. that's how I, I believe you know? yeah well even <coughs> even uh, when when you were training me years ago you said to me you know it's hard enough boxing and then when I was changing to Khmer boxing you're like okay now you have knees, elbows, grappling, so many yeah. other things going yeah. on. It, you know it's, 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 you have to be an expert you know, an expert in all these different codes of fighting you know? and you know if you take a, a, a boxer, an English boxer, for example you take Manny Pacwa, you know one of the, the top fighters in the world, you know he trains every day to to perfect a left hook, a right hook, a jab and this, you know. Now he's training, he's been training years and years just to perfect one style of fighting. So you see how difficult it is when you put in four, five, six different styles <laughs> into one, you know. Yeah, mm -hmm. good point. But, um, you know, I've always been a boxing man, you know, and come a boxing man, you know, it's, um, uh, you know, I, I respect every other style, you know, every every trainer for whatever they want to do, but, you know, I, I like my Kame boxing and my English boxing, you know. And uh, now are you uh, working as a consultant for the uh, TV network? Yeah, I'm, a, I'm the technical director for Kun Kame, um, the reality show, you know, and, they, and they, 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 they do the show at my gym. I do all the, all the competitions for them and, you know, Keep on everything. So basically, it's it's been a it's been a great show. This is our third year now, and it's been a hit. And it's it's great for the for the Khmer boxers. You know, there's 12 fighters that come. They're earning some good money. The winner he earns good money. You know, and and, and it's it's something for these guys to look forward to become a champion. Mm -hmm. You know, I believe you know if you're fighting for something. You know, you, you fight harder, you know, and we're doing things in this country. I'm the, I'm the president for ISK in this country. I've given them two world title fights. And what are the names of the two champions? It's one Viva and um, Miss, Miss Chantal. Okay. So and these guys now, they hold <laughs> ISKA world they, title. They world title champions, ISK. As you know, ISK is one of the biggest um, body, bodies in the world, you know. And, um, you know, it's an achievement for these guys, you know, and I've always said when I arrived in this country, and I told you this many, many years ago, my dream was to make a champion in this country, and I mean, we've got two champions, and really worthy champions, you know. Juan Viva is a great guy, he's, got a, he's a humble, he's got good personality, he is a true champion. And, you know, these guys need to be, the world needs to be showing that Kun Khmer, is alive and kicking, you know what I mean? And that's the difference, the whole world is 
not looking at Khmer boxing. And I they look at Thai boxing, Thai boxing. But our guys here yeah, are, are very good and, and they, as I've just proved, they can become world champions. And I mean, you know, we beat two very good guys. And, um, you know, they, they're wearing a belt, they're proud. And as I said, they, they recognize in the world. Hey, anything else you'd like to say? I just say, I just like to say, you know, that Khmer boxing is on the way up. And, um, you know, my dream and uh, why I'm here is to, to take Khmer boxing and market it around the world and let the world see exactly how good our fighters are and um, give our, our fighters opportunities around the world because um, they need it and they are, when, when I say top fighters in the world, they, I believe they, they can reach a top. And as I've just said, we've, had, we've got two world champions and we have to give them a chance and we have to find ways of bringing Kun Khmer Boxing, Kun Khmer Boxing out to the world and show them what, what these guys are all about. And I, I tell you one thing, I mean, when you see our guys fighting, our Khmer Boxers fighting in the ring, yeah, I mean, they fight with their hearts. They get in there and they fight. And they're true champions, they're true warriors. And um, look, we're getting there and it's going to be hard work, but we'll get there. And tell me what you call a brawler. A, a brawler that's going to rough you up. Okay? And move the, when you're moving around and you're jabbing and you're hitting him with left, right, you're right. Yes. As soon as he's on top of you, okay? Then you start panicking, yeah. turn your back, okay? But the point that once you're dropping your head and start mixing it with it, yeah. and you can't hold in amateur boxing, so I can't tell you to hold it, but you can in professional boxing, you can get away with it. Okay? So you have to mix it, but what? If you turn your back all the time, you're going to get hit by the head and, you know? Fitness is... Yeah, yeah, you're so fitness, I know. So far. I know. But you have to remember, you, you can't run. The ring's only that big, you can run, run. <coughs> but sometimes you're going to get caught. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's what you have to do in fighting, you know what I mean? Yeah. You know, you're going to get a guy, your first fight, he's going to come running at you like that. Yeah. And pressurizing you, you know, can't... That's good practice. No, no, put Anthony pushing you. You can't panic. No. When you panic, you're going to get knocked out. You have to... No. Okay. If I stayed back and swapped jabs with you, I would lose. You're using more technique than me. When we were apart, I could see all Patty's technique coming in. When we were at distance, he was using all your technique. He was doing the good thing, yeah. At a, at a distance, you punch as well. Yeah. But you, you're going to get caught. Every boxer, I don't care how good you are, you can jab, jab and move around. You're going to get caught yeah. sometimes on the ropes. Also, you, you're moving so fast at the beginning, I thought, I thought I had to catch you. That's why I was coming in like that. I thought, okay, i got to keep you from running. See, in professional boxing, a lot of guys, like you do, you bang, 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 and when he comes in, you tie him up. Yeah. Then he, can, he, can, then he cannot... Can I tie them up in amateur boxing? No, but I'm saying professional boxing. Uh. You can bang him, bang him, get your shots off, and when he comes close, you tie him up. So he can never get a shot off. Mm. Okay, that's what Muhammad Ali used to do. Yes. Bang, 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 and tie the guy up. It's frustrating. You see? And, but in amateur boxing, you can't. You, know, you, you grab, you grab, you grab, and if you turn your back to that, you're gone. I couldn't tie him up. Strong. <laughs> I, can, I can time up, even uh, me and I can time up. A one, a two, a one, two, three, four.